Hiya, Martin here and thank you for joining me for this week's video. I hope you're all well and you have had super creative weeks and weekends in your workshops. Now a few people recently um, have asked uh, how I sharpen my bowl gouges uh, and my other tools as well. And I've been putting off and putting off um, doing a sharpening video because there are so many really really good ones out there. Um, but I've now kind of talked myself into a corner. So here we are with the video about how I sharpen my gouges. Um, now the grinder I use is just a fairly inexpensive bench grinder. I got this one from Axminster Tools and Machinery and I use a fingernail jig which I picked up off eBay. It's not branded, it's made in the UK by, um, by an engineer guy and I think it was about 30 odd pounds something like that so it's got a, a movable stick I don't know what it's called it's a movable stick and it's got a, um, a platform here that you can put your bowl gouge into this is the fingernail jig that you can put your bowl gouge into the wheel on the gouge is a 40mm aluminium oxide wheel at 80 grit and that's all I use. Um, the grey wheel over here I used to shape by hand the very rough shape that I wanted um, and then I honed the shape and formed the shape that I want for my gouge on the white wheel. So let's have a look at how I put the uh, I put the gouge into the jig and the way the grinder is set up um, I've had to rise or rather I've had to raise the grinder up a few millimeters to allow the um, the block that the uh, slidey in and out bit goes into underneath the grinding wheel and that is set two inches back from the edge of the workbench and you need that two inches so when you put your gouge into the fingernail jig there is just two inches of the gouge sticking out the end like so and then I just eyeball it up to make sure it's squarely in the squarely in the jig like that and then what you can do, I need a sharpie for this, and as if by magic a sharpie appears, if you draw or if you paint or colour in the end of the bevel like that, you can check your angle. I mean, I'm not sure what angle that is, I just know that that's an angle that I like, and it's probably... I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. So you put the end of the fingernail jig into the end of the sticky out bit, slide it in, and then you can adjust the angle by pulling out the slidey bit and rolling it back until the bevel touches, all of the bevel is in contact with the wheel then you've got a little tightening up knob thing and then if you give it a little spin you can see there that the sharpie has come off the bevel and that was shown to me in a video by Tim Yoda really handy little hint to make sure that your angle is correct. So when you're happy with your angle like that you can start your grinding. Another thing that I forgot to mention is you need a, a dressing tool like this diamond tipped one so you can dress the wheel because as it grinds um, some of the aluminium oxide is going to come off and you'll end up with a, an irregular line so you'll end up with a dip actually in the wheel itself. So the, the dressing wheel you use just to square it off 
and uh, that's a really really useful tool. So when you've got the jig all aligned for how you want everything to be and your angles correct you can then start to grind and we want to have a slightly convex grind on the wings on each side of the tool and the way I do it is the way that I saw um, on YouTube I can't remember who it was but they suggested doing the grind in different stages so rather than rolling right the way round in one go you do this bit first down to the down to the toe and then come round the other side and do that side and then roll it round the toe now you should definitely be wearing eye protection for this as there'll be sparks and also when you're dressing the wheel with the tool you need to be wearing a respirator because the dust is horrendous now light touches and you can start to work the curve Now this one's gone a little bit flat, so I'm just going to take a bit off the top. get it too hot either. That is quite a nice grind, I'm happy with that. And that is how I sharpen the bowl gouge. And I, I do exactly the same thing with a spindle gouge as well. Um, but I also have an additional attachment for this jig which is one that I can use for scrapers. So with this attachment, it slides in in exactly the same way as the other one, but on the top is a platform that you can put your scrapers on. And the platform tilts up and down, and you can find the same angles that you did for the bevel on your bowl gouge and when you've got it right, the same as before, look, you can then start sharpening. So with the two, this is a round nose scraper, so with the tool lying absolutely flat on the platform, you can roll it round and get yourself a very, very nice get yourself a very nice cut and a razor sharp edge straight off the platform. Right, so here I've got the bolt scraper and the principle is exactly the same as with the round nose scraper but we've got a slightly different profile on it, a slightly different shape. So in exactly the same way 
I'm going to start off in the middle and I'm going to round the very tip over as well. very nicely sharpened bowl scraper. That's it. That is how I sharpen my gouges and, uh, and my scrapers. And just by tilting this back up, you can also do your skew chisel and, you know, you can do anything you want. The grinder itself was pretty inexpensive and, uh, as I said, I think the the fingernail jig was about 30 odd 30 odd pounds something like that there are branded products out there but this one really really does do me very very well and the and the scraper attachment and the chisel um, attachment like that I think that was about 40 pounds well that's it for this video folks, thank you very much indeed for watching, um, I'm hopefully going to be back very shortly with, um, with another video but for now, thanks very much, if you've got any comments or queries do please leave them below and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks very much and I'll see you again soon, bye for now.